What is up my broskies? If you read the title of this video, of course you read the title of this video, you're not stupid. But from the title of this video, you can tell I'm trying to do the bodice honest makeup thing. I don't really know what I'm going to be doing, just probably going to mess up my face. The products that I am using um, is acrylic paint and face paint. Personally, I would suggest that you just use face paint for this. But yeah, without further ado, let's uh, let's mess up my face. The very first thing you're going to be doing is pinning back all your baby hairs, tying your hair up, and priming. Now I have no idea what to do. Uh, of course you don't, Shay. But what you should do is grab your acrylic paint and start lining. You'll want to keep the lines quite jagged, as if it's a drippy effect or a ripped effect. Your best bet is to make it as uneven as possible. Nothing has to be perfect. And you can take your lines as high or as low as you'd like. just feel like I need to mention I am not a professional body painter. I am literally just messing around. But I made a oopsie. Probably should have done my hands first. This is technically inspired by Maria Brink. Uh, I think you guys will know what I'm talking about. So let's go. Uh. The effect you're going for is like the bone structure in your hand, but keep it minimalistic and try not to make such a big mess like I did. Don't forget to paint the other hand. I was going to do it white, but my white acrylic paint uh, dried out. Painting with your other hand is hard. It was pretty difficult. Let's get back to it. Quick fire. First, you're gonna set down your foundation. Make sure to blend it with your beauty blender. Then put some powder over it and hit do some contouring. But for the contouring, just do the edges of your face and the insides of your eye sockets. This will add more detail in the long run and make you look spookier. At this point, you can redraw any dark lines that have been covered. I'm mixing foundation and yellow acrylic paint for the teeth because we are just starting to paint some teeth. For the teeth, keep the teeth shape irregular. It makes it more freaky. Uh, don't mind me just adding some more black lines and making them connect. Well, look weird. <laughs> For the blood, mix blue, red and yellow or red and green. And then I decided to cut out a bunch of jargon where I was talking about Unas Arnas. So I'm just going to do it here. If you guys don't know what Unas Arnas is, they are Crank Gameplays and Markiplier. They have made a channel that has a lifespan of only a year so we can all embrace death. They, they do whatever they want, they do whatever they feel they have to and it's a lot of fun. And it's just very sad to know that the channel is only going to disappear in a year's time so I decided to it was a great idea to talk about death. I myself have never had near-death experiences, although there have been times where I've accepted death. Death is a very difficult thing to accept, especially realizing that you are not gonna be here forever, so you might as well make it the best you can. But also it's difficult accepting that other people have died but we have to move on in the best way we can. I don't say don't grieve. I'm saying grieve as best you can, but don't let the grief consume you. That's when you stop living. That's me getting all philosophical with you guys today. And I'm done talking now, yay. <laughs> it's taking a long time. You're telling me. So I'm just filling in some darker areas with the purpley color so it adds some more depth. And because I'm a freaky deaky little thing, I added some more blood. 
Dip your paintbrush in a lot of water with acrylic paint or face paint or whatever you're using a lot and then do some flicks. It looks a bit like um, blood spots. It looks pretty cool. Looking freaky. My hand is a mess. And now I think I want to write something here. And then I want to do something with my eyes. Okay. Yeah? Really? Yeah? My face is all covered. <laughs> I'm busy. What are you doing? Oh, wait. Who the sh? Yeah, thanks for that, Dad. Now I'm just painting with normal black acrylic paint. Me Memento Mori has the word meme in it, and I don't know how to spell it. Who, who, who really cares at this point, right? Of course, you can paint whatever words you'd like. Uh, you don't have to follow this tutorial exactly. Uh, even so, this is not really a tutorial. This is just me uh, doing some... Uh, wasting time. Because I'm a complete idiot, I did not tell you guys that I'm using a dark brown around the edges of my eyes and a lighter brown on the crease of my lids. I am sorry, I will get better at this if you guys want me to make another one of these. Next is eyeliner and eye mascara. They are not even, but I don't care. Feel free to add mascara or fake eyelashes to this look. You don't need to, it's not necessary, but it looks good. And then we are finished. I think I'm gonna do my uh, vanity shoot now. Anyway guys, I've been recording for 46 minutes now. I think this is the best that I'm gonna do for now. I think this is good for my very first makeup tutorial um yeah if you guys want to follow me on instagram links down below if you guys want to help support uh unis honest links down below and if you want to help support my dad's channel also links down below thank you guys so much for watching and here's the vanity shoot